Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and this is video number four in a series of short videos that I've been doing to talk about some of my classic topics in the arena of fitted baseball caps, specifically the new era 5950. Now there are lots of variables and details that you can look for in these caps that might differentiate one from the other in terms of finding the right cap for you. And of course, a lot of this guidance applies to caps that you can find in a physical store and therefore try them on. Now I know that sometimes we have to take our chances when ordering a cap online. One important note, origin of manufacturing of these caps makes a big difference in the way they come out. One of the quickest things you can check is the manufacturer's tag in the back of the cap under the sweatband. The Made in USA caps went away in 2019. You might be lucky enough to find one or two of those out there somewhere or buy vintage. But other than that, China, you're in pretty good shape. I like the caps coming out of China. If you were getting a cap from Bangladesh, I'd say that's a big red flag. I do not personally like caps made in Bangladesh because they tend to be very square up top. The visors tend to crease very easily. And there's some other attributes that just don't make them as comfortable a cap. Personally, with Haiti, Vietnam, or Mexico, I've got too few data points in my collection to make a fair assessment. If you happen to be in a store, one of the first things you can do to fight the variation between caps is think about your normal size, grab a few copies of that if they have them, and then go one eighth of a size down and one eighth of a size up because with the variation in caps, you might find one that's a little bit outside your normal size that fits the best. Once you narrow it down, the number of caps that you have, then you can start to look for these other details that I'm about to share with you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first up, there's the exterior of the cap. What I like to look for first is the crown height and shape. Take a quick look at the front and then kind of circulate around the cap. One of the first things you'll notice is that some caps have a much deeper crown than others. The volume inside of the cap and the height of it is much greater than other caps. It's best to do this side by side. So if you've got a favorite hat, it's good to wear that into the store because then you have a reference to look at the other caps with. Now, there's a couple other things that you can see when looking at the front of the cap. Sometimes you get a little chef's hat effect, which is what I call it, when you've got a little bit of a curve on these seams here coming up out of the visor, they curve in and go with the convex shape. Also, I'd say look out for the flatness on the top. Now, some fitted cap fans like the square and boxy look and the flatness up top. I personally do not prefer that look. I like a little bit more roundness, even though I like the standard 5950. It's not uncommon to have to buy one that's a little bit flatter, and then you can shape it a little bit with some other videos that I put out there. After that, on the exterior, I just do a quick quality check on the embroidery up front, the front logo. Flip it around to the back, and if you're buying a major league or minor league cap, you will see the Batterman logos respectively. Historical caps have a flat Batterman logo. Most of the on-field authentic collection have a raised Batterman logo. Now, the raised Batterman is interesting in that it makes it a lot stiffer in the back, so I find it's a little less comfortable than a flat Batterman logo. Last details, you can take a look at the visor alignment to the cap body, and a lot of times you can compare that to the seam in the panels. If that distance looks the same on each side, then you know that visor is pretty well centered to the crown of the cap. When you flip inside to the interior of the cap, give a once over to the entire sweat brand perimeter especially in the front areas because that's gonna be against your forehead. And I always like to look for folds or creases in that area. Because what happens is if you've got a good fit, those creases, they're just gonna press right into your forehead, make it very uncomfortable. Secondly, I like to give the sweatband a little pinch and check for softness. Some of the sweatbands have a little bit more foam thickness in them and therefore they're more comfortable. Others are thinner and feel just like a fabric sweatband almost. Now, the other thing I would do is check the front two panels, fold down the sweatband and look and do a little quality check on how the front two panels of the cap have been connected to the visor. A lot of times there's untrimmed fabric or buckram there that can build up and create lumps underneath the sweatband. Again, that causes discomfort on your forehead. And then check the front logo embroidery from the backside because sometimes when it's bonded to the buckram, it presses the shape through the buckram. So it really makes that rough buckram 
kind of raised and from the inside of the cap that's another thing that can rub on your forehead make it a little bit more uncomfortable for you now down below in the description i've got links to some of my longer and classic videos that teach you how to shape stretch shrink otherwise edit and maintain your caps you can check those out if you're further interested but other than that as always thank you for watching and we'll see you next time